The Lone Star Conference includes schools from outside of Texas, if you can believe it. In fact, it stretches all the way up to Washington, the state. Anyway, let's check out the stadiums. Legron Stadium, Angelo State Rams. Hmm, that logo looks oddly familiar. Ah, <sighs> Los Angeles copies San Angelo yet again. They just can't handle the fact that there's a more relevant city out there with the word Angel in it. Anyway, as you can see, they have recently renovated this stadium somewhat. Their renovation included the addition of blue bench seating and a golden running track, which has certainly livened up the place. Oh, and credit where credit's due. The stadium that the LA Rams call home is completely unique. Tomlinson Stadium, Central Washington Wildcats. Once again, this stadium has recently undergone a renovation, but the difference is even more apparent. They have separated the athletics and football facilities, and this is now a rectangular stadium. In case you're wondering why a team from the state that borders Canada is playing in the Lone Star Conference, well, their old conference dropped football and the Southerners took them in. Greyhound Stadium, Eastern New Mexico Greyhounds. This wasn't renovated recently because it was built in 2016. The brick and steel exterior is rather nice. And there's plenty of stonework and landscaping, not only on the outside, but also within, including an extensive grass berm behind each end zone. Oh, and I should mention that before this on-campus stadium was built, they were playing at a venue that was not only in poor condition, but was something like 10 miles out of town. Now that's a car park. Memorial Stadium, Midwestern State Mustangs. I suppose it's particularly fitting to be so accommodating to cars, given that this stadium hosts the annual Oil Bowl Classic which is a high school football event. This place was actually initially built for high school games and is still owned by the local school district. Midwestern State didn't move in until 1988. Apparently this was the first high school stadium in the country to use an artificial turf field. I believe they've had one since it opened in 1970. Javelina Stadium, Texas A&M Kingsville Javelinas. In case you were wondering, as I was, a javelina is an animal that is akin to a pig, but is not quite a pig. Feel free to insert a joke about an overweight person that you don't like. This is not too dissimilar to the last one, although with the running track and the lack of grass berms, it's just not quite as good. I do like the palm trees though, and it does have one of the largest video boards in Division 2. Ratliff Stadium, Texas Permian Basin Falcons. This is the biggest stadium in the conference, but even more noteworthy is that it's where the movie Friday Night Lights was set. The Panthers home stadium is Ratliff Stadium, but I believe they occasionally filmed at another stadium that was posing as Ratliff Stadium. Which wouldn't be very difficult because the design is pretty typical of Texas football stadiums of this size. Although, sorry to talk about trees again, but I do appreciate the addition of about a dozen trees behind each of the end zones. Who knows, you might even spot a falcon or two. Buffalo Stadium, West Texas A&M Buffaloes. After playing for many years at this interesting looking stadium, the Buffaloes now play at a smaller, yet much more impressive, on-campus stadium that opened just a few years ago. It has all the features you might expect of a modern stadium that costs tens of millions of dollars, like the 360 degree concourse and the big video board. But perhaps the most iconic feature of this place is the white buffalo that was moved to the south of this new stadium. It's a tribute to all the real life buffaloes that have led the team out onto the field over the years. Ben Altamirano Memorial Stadium, Western New Mexico Mustangs. Although very simple, there is at least one thing that sets this place apart. The scoreboard is not situated behind one of the end zones, as is usually the case, but opposite the one and only stand, which makes perfect sense. They actually just recently installed a proper video board, at around the same time that they installed the artificial turf field. 
We're back in the Pacific Northwest at MacArthur Field, home of the Western Oregon Wolves. It's the smallest stadium in the conference, but what a lacking capacity it makes up for in uh, uh, a roof. It's got a roof. About two thirds of the seats are covered. Having said that, the stadiums down south would have less of a need for it. Another plus is that the stand is elevated significantly. So despite the track, most people do have a pretty good view of the field. And those were the Lone Star Conference football stadiums. No surprises as to which is my favorite. Buffalo Stadium is a cut above. Some people consider it to be the best in Division 2. Anyway, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one.